What up, gang? What up, what up? Let's see here. Is that a little... All right, let me see if I can do this. We're getting set up there. Hang in there if y'all are on here already. Let me see what's going on with it. Um, okay. If I can see myself there and see some if a comment comes up. Say you were wrong, ever did me wrong. I'm sorry, no some mistake. And you say you'd be happy, you could just come back. He's a quarter, I was so wrong. You know that little, how to start a little Travis trip. Let me do something real fast here uh, while I'm thinking of it. See if I can uh, put this thing on uh, on Facebook. Well, I say I'm gonna do that and like. So I think I know what's going on with this live stuff. I don't at all. I was trying to set it this early, earlier today, and it was going half the time. It was messing up, and so I think I know what I'm doing. And then I'm like, how do I not know how to do this yet? Um, anyway, hold on one second, guys. Let me take uh, let me take it live real fast, and I'll get to your questions there. We'll get. We'll get rocking and rolling. Get let some let some people get on here. Uh, Y'all seen Spice Adams? I don't know if you follow Spice Adams. Man, that dude's hilarious. Uh, he always talks about when you go live, and he's sitting there like, "Yeah, probably gonna be a few thousand up in here. <laughs> probably gonna be a few thousand." <laughs> and he's always he's sitting there clicking the screen, and then his just his mom pops on. He's like. Hold on, Mom, I gotta hit you back. <laughs> All right, here, let me see it. Um, one second here. Let me see if that was, if I got it done here. All right, what up, gang? We here. All right, what up, Ricky, Jayla? Brett says, um, do you ever play anything in drop D? No, I'm not that fancy. I think I know how to do it. You basically just tune the top, the top string to the D string, I'm pretty sure. Um, somebody let me know in the comments if, that, if that's correct. I think like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure all you do is do the top string um, to, to tune up to your D and it should be, um, should be good to go. Everett says, love your videos, thanks so much. Uh, Marcus, I've been struggling with strumming. I understand you can play the chords, but strumming is terrible. Help please. Marcus, you got to get my strumming DVD, brother. Um, like I said, it's 15, 15 lessons of just breaking down strumming. So I've said it before, strumming's always going to be your hardest thing. Like, once your fingers get hard and you can actually play chords, it's going to... Because your mind and your brain is not trained yet to kind of... It's not really set up to have that rhythm yet. So hang in there. Uh, I even tell people, if you want something free, type in Matt McQuee strumming. And I've got, I don't know, probably 30 videos for free just on the topic of strumming. Um, so be sure to check that out. What's good, Matt? Man, life's good. Um, my brother and dad are actually in Asheville, North Carolina. I'm here at my office. Uh, they're in Asheville, North Carolina. We're looking to get into the sawmill business. So if any of y'all know about the sawmill business, hit me up. Uh, we've talked about, my family owns several businesses, we're in all kinds of stuff, as you know. I'm all over the place. Um, so we're looking to get into the sawmill business while lumber's sky high, all that stuff. Um, Aloha, what are you using for audio? Um, I'm just, is the audio awful? I'm just using my, um, my iPhone. I have an iPhone, I think 11, something like that. Um, I've been wanting to get a little microphone, like even for my videos. Um. Can you all hear the audio okay? Um, let me see here. Charlotte, North Carolina. I lived in Charlotte up in uh, Cornelius off of exit 28 for like eight years. I got married in Charlotte. What's up, Matt? Picked up a guitar. Um, not knowing a single note a few years ago. Now I'm playing shows. That's huge, Brennan. 
Brendan, that's awesome, man. Um, thank you for all you do. Your guitar is spiritual encouragement. Awesome, Justin. Glad you like it. Uh, headed to Cali. I've been out in California like twice. It's pretty pretty cool out there. I can't handle those taxes. Um, those California taxes, but who's texting me? Oh. Um, anyway, I, um, let me see here. Alex said I created a shout-out video on Instagram. I hear you, brother. Um, I've been trying to learn Hurricane Luke Combs for months. The timing is killing me, though. What's funny is I'm teaching my little boy, Blake. I got three boys, six, four, and my youngest just turned two yesterday. So six, four, two. That keeps me spiced up. And uh, my little son, Blake, I'm teaching him on piano. So he does the Luke Combs. Uh, then you rode in with your hair in the wind, baby, with a warning. I was doing all right, but just your side of my heart story. He can do the C, G, E minor, and um, C, G, E minor, D. Oh, and hide and stars can shine. The rain was your rock. The birds are light. Break my whole world up when you can. Hit me like a hurricane. That's a song, and like I say on all my songs, focus on the timing of down, down, switch. So you want to start out with just that bass. Anytime you're learning a song, start with just the basic basics. And then after you kind of get that in your head, you might do down, down, up, down, up, switch, down, up, down, up, switch, down, up, down, up. And so forth. So you just build on that. Start with your timing of just down strums and build on that. I can't can't emphasize that enough. Um, can you to please do a video on Perfect by Ed Sheeran? That'd be a pretty cool song to do. Uh, I'm trying to do maybe every now and then do some songs um, that are not just just country, just to switch it up some. So we'll see. I'll definitely look into that one. Um, Jayla just got a new guitar. What kind did you get? Um, let me see here. Well, somebody said, let me see. Uh, who said they're from Alabama? I'm Kristen's from Michigan. I've been to Michigan a couple times. Never been to Oregon, Arkansas, Justin. Um, you know, I lived in Birmingham, Alabama for, um, two years. And I lived in a little small town called Jasper, Alabama for, for a year. That's where my parents lived. My dad was in the coal industry. Um, so audio is great. So cool on that, guys. Uh, I'm still gonna, like I said, I've been researching. I'm still gonna get me a little, sometime external microphone. You know, like, like I said, guys, I because I do have my family does all kinds of businesses. I've got my six, four, and two year old. I'm married. I'm, I'm working out and stuff. I'm all over the place so much. So sometimes I just kind of get my iPhone. Well, not sometimes, but pretty much every time. Get my iPhone. Put it in my tripod grab my guitar, and boom, shoot out videos. So that's how I get so many videos, because I can just knock them out fast now. I learn the chords and just wear it out. Um, y'all about to saw one up. Tell me if y'all know this little jam here. I'll get back to the questions. Um, she goes out to the man on the street. Sir, can you hear me? It's cold and I have no there's some way you can show me He walks by, doesn't look bad He pretends he can hear her Starts to whistle as he crosses the street She's embarrassed to be there Oh, think twice Cause it's another day for
Y'all remember that one? Phil Collins, Jim? I was sitting there at the uh, teaching my boy piano yesterday, and he got up, and I just started going, dum, 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 dum. and I was like, man, I forgot about that one. Oh, uh, Phil Collins, I'm showing my age. That song was 1989, uh, but that was a jam back in the day. Uh, Phil Collins, top it, top it. Some of you younger generations, look up Phil Collins. Look at some of his greatest hits. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, let me see. Uh, Brandon said, also become closer with the Lord, so you're all around win-win. Man, I, I love to hear that. Um, you know, I tell people all the time, you all see me all the time on Instagram, on YouTube. Uh, I'm getting on here doing devotionals, doing talks and everything. That is not to say for a second that I've got it all together. I have all the answers in life. So since I've got it all together, let me tell you all how you can get it all together. That's the farthest thing I want to come across as because, to be honest with you, it's because I don't have it together. And I have so many flaws, just ask my wife. No, but I have, I have so many flaws and, and, and fall to temptations daily, have so many struggles, just like you all. We all do. But that's what makes the story of Christ so great. That's what I want to, the message I want to send is, is because we're so flawed, because I'm so flawed, that's what makes having a Savior so cool. So it's not we have it all together. That's what religion, religion teaches you have it all together and you try to get right with God. Try to get right with God. Christ is just the opposite. It's we don't have it all together. You never could have it all together. So how awesome that he gave us the victory over that. And as long as we're in this flesh, we're going to have struggles. But one day, it's all going to be, we're on the winning team. So just want to share that. Um, uh, can you run us through Sing Me Back Home? Um, I'm not sure if I know that one. I need to... Um, Need to check that out. Um, let me see. Acoustic Chords Gaming said, you're the one that taught me to play guitar all these years ago. Now I'm playing with ease. That's awesome. I always say, uh, um, I said, look, I'm a forever beginner teacher. There's a lot of fancy stuff, man. Some of my buddies can do all this lead stuff and all these crazy chords. I'm like, I know, I know about 20 chords and a few strumming patterns. But I am, I am a, a pretty good teacher, I think, at taking someone who knows, knows, knows nothing and kind of teaches them how to they can get playing the playing guitars or whatever. Alaska, Brett's from Alaska. Cool. Um, let me see. Have you ever taken singing lessons, Cohen? No, I haven't ever taken singing lessons. My mo my mother, she used to make CDs, go in the studio. She would sing backup for artists. Uh, she used to tour around for a little while. My mother's an awesome singer. She's a gospel singer. Like I said, has been in groups, done solo stuff, sang in church her whole life. So I grew up with music in my house. 24-7. I try to even do that with my kids, to be honest with you. Um, so, I kind of do what I can with singing. But my, my, my mother's a singer in the family, for sure. Uh, purple Panda Lava mics are decent for the price. Purple Panda Lava. I appreciate that. I'll look it up. I'm from Kentucky. Jayla. Cool, cool. I used to tell people, if somebody asked where I'm from, I said, we used to, I grew up in Virginia. Um, so, I grew up in Virginia, southwestern Virginia. My dad worked in Kentucky, and we used to shop in Tennessee. So that'll show you on the map right there right behind me. We were right there in the corner where Virginia, Kentucky, and Tennessee meet. So we used to bounce around those three states um, all the time. Um, let me see here. Let's see. Alex said, if you were to create your own record label, sit around anything guitar-related, what would y'all call it? Hmm. Don't fret. Don't fret records. Huh? Y'all, I thought that one fast. Um, let me see. Uh, Sam said, I'm from the UK. Started playing six months ago. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Um, like I said, that's my passion. Is someone who's never played guitar, all of a sudden, they're like, man, I can't learn this. I, I've, I've taken a lesson before. I can't do it. And I say, well, let me try. And the biggest thing, y'all know what I always teach. I'm like, man, just try locking in the two bottom strings on the third fret. Baby, close that suitcase, you be back. Just sit down and talk to me a while. I know you try to tell me what you like, but I guess I must have missed it by the way. Y'all, that's such a good job. Blame it all on my roots. I 
showed up in boots. Martin made it back in time. Cool, cool. Um, uh, head coach said that singing's not coming along too good. <laughs> um, let me see. Can you do Swing Low, Swing Chariot by Josh Turner? Oh, I need to, yeah, I need to look that one up. I probably could. I need to, uh, um, do you believe in life after love? Share. Alex is always talking about them share songs. Um, See that, but boy, out there, y'all give Justin a thumbs up. Justin said, "Hey, everyone, give this video a like." Uh, y'all hear me? I've been, I've been trying to. I follow a YouTuber. Um, y'all might have heard him, heard of it, a finance YouTube called Graham Stephan. If you don't follow him, uh, young boy talks about finances. I watch his videos every single day, and he's always. He starts out. He says what the videos will be like, and he says, "Go smash the like button." So that's who I stole that from. That's not my original. He always says, go smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. So I, that's not my plan. That's, he has like three and a half million followers, hundreds of thousands of views every video. So it's a cool little, if you want a cool little finance YouTube channel. Um, Andre Jig, J-I-K-H, I think Andre Jig and Graham Stephan. I watch their two videos all the time. Uh, do you know John Mayer? What's up? Um, What I reason one little part I used to work on a bunch. I think it's why Georgia Wire. You got this body is one man. Body is one I was just playing is a um, it's a Blue Ridge. Uh, my, my, my mother bought that years ago. It's a Blue Ridge guitar. I love the sound of that one. This guitar has a lower sound. It's a, called a Black Smoke Martin. A Black Smoke Martin. Um, Y'all heard the story. My brother said he's going to start learning guitar from me, which I knew. He is so busy. I was like, there ain't no way he's going to learn. So we went to the guitar store and I said, hey, you got to buy this one. He bought it. He's never touched it. And I keep it in my office. So Y'all see how I roll. Um, do you know Me and My Kind by Cody Johnson? That's a good song. I haven't done that one yet, but I need to do that one. Um, how do you tune and drop D? We were talking about that. Um, just take the top string uh, when you're on a tuner and tune it to the D string, I'm pretty sure. Brother says, what up, Matt? Hope all is well with you and yours. Thank you. Um, please teach. Raised up. Cool, I'll look that one up, look it up. If you're ever playing on those, uh, try using your ring finger and pinky finger. Um, let me see here. I'm saying try uh, a top ring third fret. Makes it cool. Everybody, let's see. Okay, Martin, I'll try that, I'll try that. Sonic Drive-In, holla. Uh, Jerome says, I love your channel from France. That's what's cool about um, cool about YouTube, isn't it? Man, you can reach um, people all over the place. Uh, I played for a year. Can you do something from Conway 20? That's my job. That's what I do. Everything I do. I, I've been saying I was going to teach Conway 20. 
Uh, that's my job forever. Um, I'll try to do that tonight, I'll, after I get off here a little later. You all know on my personal channel, just my name, Matt McCoy, I've been trying to do like um, more prime country. So I'll try to do a Conway Twitty tonight. Hold me to that. Um, Conway Twitty got some uh, jams for sure. Um, let me see. What's your favorite Travis Tritt song? I'm a fan too. Jimmy G says, um, Some of y'all don't even know that. Y'all even know that one. Uh, no, my favorite Travis Tritt song's got to be "I'm Gonna Be Somebody." Y'all hear me play that one? I'm gonna be somebody. song for beginners. If you're a beginner, um, that's an awesome one to do. I'm going to be somebody, Travis Tripp. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I saw Travis Tripp posted on Instagram. He said, um, he said, I'm not, he started out, he said, I'm not trying to brag. Anytime you say that, you're like, but let me brag. He said, I'm not trying to brag, but not many people could sell out arenas all over the country with just a guitar. And I'll give Tripp, Travis Tripp, I wrote him on there, I wrote a comment. I said, I've been to hundred concerts or whatever, but that Travis Tripp concert with just him and acoustic guitar sounded amazing. Um, so that was one of the best concerts. He played for like two hours. I mean, somehow, like, even though it was acoustic guitar, as soon as he would start, boom, 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 you would know what song, oh, and the crowd would go crazy. Because, you know, all of his songs were Corn Don't Grow, Help Me Hold On, Country Club, Drift Off the Dream, Anymore, but Here's a Quarter, uh, Whiskey ain't working anymore. But, you know, he has so many. And everybody knew every word of every one of them. So the concert was just amazing. Uh, what's the guitar you're playing? I think I said this is a, a Black Smoke Martin. The other one was a Blue Ridge. I forget the model. Uh, BR, yeah, BR40. Somebody's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, let me see. Up to see. Hey, Matt. Check up Up Church. I ask you about. Uh, Mike, what, what song... What's, what do you mean the up church? Um, um, let me tell y'all something real fast too. I, I say this often. This is what kills me. When it, it's it's pretty cool. Like I don't have like a huge huge following compared to some people, but I still got quite a quite a few comments and emails I get every day. So I hate when I'm driving and what whether it's Snapchat, whatever, it, or or whatever, and I see a message and it pops like especially on Snapchat. Somebody send me something. And then my boys get the phone or something, it went away, and I'm like, man, I didn't get a comment to that because I didn't even see what it was. Somebody took it away, and I couldn't even, I've given up on Facebook. I've got like 12,000 messages unread, so I've kind of skipped Facebook. Um, it kind of got, it got loose on me. I was doing good for a while, man, before then I had kids, and the messages got loose on me. So if, if, I, if you all written me some note or email, and I haven't written you back, man, I apologize. I hate that. I'm serious. I hate that with a passion. Cause I like, man, I like to be personal, all that stuff. Um, so, can you teach more two thousand country songs? Yeah, I need to do those uh, for sure. Uh, Walking in Memphis, Lone Star, good call, Alex. I'll do that one. When did you start playing guitar? Uh, someone asked. Um, you know the story shows how things can be a blessing, even if it was a curse. My sophomore year of high school, so five years ago. <laughs> kidding. Uh, sophomore year of high school. Um, I had a back injury, couldn't play football. I'd done sports my whole life. I was crushed, so everybody else went to play football. I said, I'm not going to sit at home. So I took six guitar lessons, six from a guy named Chris Rose. He was unbelievable. He won every competition all over the country and world. Type in Chris Rose guitar. He, he does, he played with his tongue. I was crazy. Anyway, so Chris Rose taught me six guitar lessons. Then I went, my back healed, praise the Lord. And I started playing football again. You know, we, we won every single game. Um, I got three state championships, all that stuff. And I tell people all the time, I don't even know where those three state championship football rings are right now, but I play the guitar every single day, and I made a ministry out of guitar. So sometimes what looks to be your setback, God can make you be your setup. Don't ever forget that. 
You can be going through a challenging time, but that thing, that very thing that seems to you like a setback, maybe in due time, that's going to be your setup for something big God's going to use you for. I mean, who would have known? I, I knew nothing about guitar, and I would have a couple hundred thousand followers, whatever, and, and teach people all over the world guitar based off of that injury. So hang in there, man. God's got a plan. Um, is Brody playing yet? Brody's not playing yet. He's four. He he, he watches us some, but Brody's more. He'll probably be my athlete more out of my four kids. I mean, my, my three kids. Um, definitely don't want to add to myself a kid. Out of my three kids. Uh, Brody and Mojo are more into sports. Mojo's my little guy. And Blake's more like he studies and reads, super smart, but he loves music. So he's probably going to be more of a musician. Um, how long have you been playing guitar? Uh, 20, what, 25 years now, which is nuts. But I went like three or four years, didn't play at all, something like that. So, um, do, you the, uh, do you have the gambler yet? Yeah, Lawson. Type, type in Matt McCoy, the gambler. I forget if I taught that. Um, you got to know when to hold them. I thought that one, yeah. Uh, let me see. What other musical instruments do you play, Ashley said? Really just um, this and a piano. I tell you all the time, man, y'all got to learn piano. Piano is so cool. Let me give you a quick little plug for that too. What I love, love, love about piano, the reason I'm teaching my son piano, is a guitar is tricky, but once you learn the chords... I, you can use every other white key. Um, go. Should have seen by the look in my eyes, baby, there was something missing. Should have known, known by the tone of my voice, baby. So all that, that's an F, G, and A minor, back and forth, that whole song. And it's literally just every other every other white key. So you can get a cool sound. What's great about the piano is you can get that good sound um, right away. With a, with a guitar, you can't do that. If you if I if I took my son or a new person guitar, there's no way I could show someone a G and they go and get a clear sound. It's gonna be like. So you're going to, it's going to take a while for your fingers to get callous to get to know where to press and all that stuff versus I can show someone a G chord and they go and you've got it. three notes every other white key I can say they say what's a C chord if I show you a C chord that's a guitar it's going to sound like at first if I show my son or someone a C chord on the piano instantly it's just easy so, if you're, if you're kind of struggling with guitar, I highly recommend, highly recommend uh, learning piano, man. It's just fun, too, if there's a piano sitting around to go play um, play a little jam or something. I'll play in a nursing home or fool around at church or something after the service. Um, uh, let me see here. The, Kathy said, the knowledge is fun and therapeutic. That's pretty cool. Therapeutic. Y'all know, y'all know me, man. I try to just be upbeat about things. Um, let me see. Hey, Matt, do you like Lincoln Park? Yeah, man. I used to work out all the time to them. I still do sometimes. Yeah, Lincoln Park has some jams. Uh, Jayla said I got a Yamaha. Cool, cool. Uh, talk, 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 how do you say that? Takami, 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 tak I'm drawing a blank. Those are good guitars too. Um, people want to shoot me for that one. You don't know how to play as that. Um, let me see. Um, why can't I scroll here? Oh, Ash Ashlyn says I play piano well as well. It's amazing. Um, shout out if you learned C at nine before regular C chord. I wish I would have. I told you they used to want me to play in church and stuff, and I'm like I can't go. I can't go to a C chord. I would sit there and play like G. I would do it. I can never go to a C chord. If someone would have showed me years ago, then I'd, I'd been years off my life a little better. Um, so, um, seriously. 
I tell people too, like you, people are like, what? You have like 2,000 guitar videos online. I said, if I was like stuck on an island or stuck in prison or something, I could just have one instrument. It would definitely be piano. When I come to my office, I'm always sitting down. Even though I love teaching guitar and I love how the guitar sounds. I still probably learn piano. Piano is just so effortless. You can just sit down and fool around, write songs so easy and stuff like. Um, so I love, love me some piano. Um, short guy 101, I love guitar, piano. You make it so easy to learn both. Awesome. Love it. Um, Alex said, I always do G, D, E, and C. Yep, that's me. Um, let me see something here. Oh, okay, here we go. I figured out something I got. I should have zoomed in my computer. Is there an easy F or B you can show us? You know, always when I get a B chord, I play it like a track chord. So I put my ring finger and pinky finger on the two middle strings of the fourth fret, and then take my first finger and play the fifth string, second fret. <laughs> So anytime I see a B, I just play it that way. Kind of, it's an open B chord. And y'all know the track chords, when I, when I say track chords, you play an E up here, C sharp minor, B, A. Because these ring finger, pinky finger, just stay on these two middle strings up and down the track. If you want a lesson on those, uh, type in Matt McCoy track chords. So I tell people all the time when I get a guitar in, um, if I'm if I'm playing a new guitar or I go in like a guitar center or something, um, I usually pick it up and play like this open E. Just got think it counts. It, it just really rings out the guitar. It sounds cool. Um, what's your favorite country song of all time? Um, hmm. Favorite country song of all time? Good question. Uh, I don't know. That's good. I, think I, I need to have an answer for that one. I'll think about that one. Um, the Duke said, You're awesome, man. God bless. Thank y'all so much. Um, do you want to install a new program? No. <laughs> um, how do you figure out what vocal range you have? That's a good question. Um, Acoustic Chords Gaming says, I'm filling up a pool for my black lab. Now it's hot out. Man, y'all know I've been doing a lot of videos out there at my parents' place. They got that big pool. They sold their house. They moved back. They're at their farm now in Virginia. It's like a gorgeous farm. My dad has like 700 acres and like 300 and some head of black Angus cattle, pigs, goats, chickens, all that stuff. So their farm's gorgeous. But man, I used to be able to run 10 minutes away had a nice pool, gorgeous house, and they moved on me. Man, it was just too much. It's just my mom and dad have too much of a house. They had to go there. The Duke said, I learned all the Luke Combs songs thanks to you. Um, least favorite country song. Um, I don't even know what that is either. I don't know my least or my best. I need to, I need to remember uh, no electric guitars. I do have a rogue R O G U E, a rogue guitar. Um, let me see. A rogue guitar at home electric, but I never have my amp or something like that. Um, um, so let me see. Uh, hey Matt, I'm not sure if you've seen my reply, but the song I'm trying to learn is I miss my buddies. Um, Oh, I don't know, I'm not sure if I know that song. I miss my buddies. I'll have to, I'll have to Google that. Uh, a lot of times you guys and gals give me songs I've, I've never heard of, so I've got to look up. Um, my first year playing, I can only play a D minor and an E chord. Yeah, I like it. 3.30 in the morning, not a soul in sight.
favorite acoustic guitar, Taylor. I'm a big Taylor fan. Like I said, I've tried, um, somebody said even Martin or Taylor. I, I love a Taylor. There's my Taylor GS Mini over there. Um, I love the I, Taylor has like a real bright sound. Some people want a lower sound like Martin stuff. Have. I love, uh, I haven't played a lot of Gibson, but a lot of people love those too, uh, like Luke Combs stuff. Um, hey, Matt, got any tips on singing and playing the guitar together? I did a couple videos on that. I, I think I think the key is start out with some, a song you know really well, singing and uh, vocally. I mean, singing and the chords. And, and, try, and, and try to keep it um, as simple and basic as possible. So, for example, on that Travis Tritt song. I'm gonna be somebody I just know that's two G's, two C's, four D's, kind of over and over that chorus. And just don't try to get too fancy. Try to just sing on key. I'm gonna be somebody. One of these days I'm gonna break these chains. So I would practice, if you want to really work on your singing, whatever, I would practice a song like that, or just whatever song that you like to play, like to sing, that's real simple. And then, I've said this in other videos too, then I would work on just slowly, maybe even ask, find someone in the room and ask them how you sound better. So, um, maybe a cable the first fret. I'm gonna be somebody One of these days I'm gonna break these chains And just keep on, you know, every time you put the capo, it goes up, it raises the song a half a step every fret you move it up. I'm gonna be somebody One of these days I'm gonna break these chains You know, you can get I'm gonna be somebody You can go lower, whatever. So, I would practice a simple song and use a capo and kind of see what you think. Um, let me see here. Uh, to play it. Playing and singing is about like patting your head and rubbing your belly. That's true, Jonathan. Um, also, I told y'all I was going to talk about how to get a girlfriend, and someone already said it. Matt, if you can play the guitar, you don't have any trouble getting a girlfriend. I'm like, exactly. People, got us guys, we try to be macho. We go in there, we pump iron. We're trying to get the six-pack, build the biceps. Girls don't care, guys. Trust me. I got, a, I got a super hot wife. Girls don't care. I was over there. I remember trying to impress her in college. I was jump roping man, smoking weight and all that stuff, feeling all good. And she said, yeah, it wasn't until I looked over and saw you playing guitar, I was like, oh, I kind of like him. So there you go. There's your evidence. Guys, you need to get a girlfriend? It doesn't even matter if you can play. Just, just walk around, just be seen like, yeah, I'm just working on some tunes over here. She's like, oh, okay. So, that was for free. Y'all can tip me right there on Super Chat. You can tip. If you need like a $2 tip just for teaching y'all how to get a girlfriend, that's okay. Uh, Justin, love your channel. Followed you a few years back. Uh, horrible arm injury. Man, sorry to hear that. Um, rehab. Uh, huge part of recovery. Man, music. Music, yeah, there's something that is just recovering, so to speak, about music, is it not? Like, music just lifts the soul, man. I've said this all the time. Like, I'll be getting there, like, getting these crazy thoughts. Do you have enough money for your kid's college? Why don't you have more in savings? You're not making enough money. You got this and you should be doing this. Why aren't you doing... Start to... You know how Satan does. We'll all lay down at night sometimes and these crazy thoughts start coming in your head. No matter how good you have it, which I, there's nobody I know of has it better than me. I should, be, I should not be having those thoughts. But I'll be sitting there starting with random thoughts and then I'm like, man, what am I doing? And I'll just let music... I'll start... Whether it's quoting scripture in my head or singing a song, I'm like, man, I'm not going to let myself get down. So I tell people all the time, I might be down for a minute, maybe even an hour, maximum... A couple hours or a day, but I ain't staying longer no day. When I wake up the next day, I'm like, nope, get my hot tea, and life's gonna be good. I got too many blessings. Like they say, you can add up your sorrows or count your blessings. You gotta decide which one of the math, what math you're gonna do. Um, Justin said, You inspired me to learn, never look back. Awesome. Um, 
army hammer. They're talking in like Chinese or something. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like it. Um, let's see. I need to go to China sometime. My brother goes over there all the time for work. With, we're in the cold. Um, hold on a second. Um, yeah, um, my brother goes over there with in the coal industry. He goes to China. Doug said, I appreciate the channel and everything. God bless. Hold on a second. Let me, let me do a quick little check here. Let me do a check. Okay, right now. We got 53 watching and 30 likes. We should have 53 likes. Just give me a little thumbs up. That's all we need to do. So if you're on there, you haven't given it. When I say smash that like button, make it a little, that little thumb turn blue. Help your boy out. That's what uh, promotes the YouTube stuff. Um, oh, Korean. Cool, cool, cool. Um, am I the only country person that isn't about a devout Christian? I respect our religion, but it's just not for me. Okay, Lawson. Lawson, we'll be praying for you, man. You, uh, Alex and I listen to Japanese song. Kind of, kind of inspired me to play. Cool. Play the song, Old oh Brother, Where Art Thou? That's a good one, too. I, I, I don't know how to play it, but this one's so bad. So, if people think, man, this guy plays guitar for a living, they look on, like, they type in my name, and a thousand videos pop up, and they see I've got two or three channels and a couple hundred thousand subscribers on it, they're like, man, this guy's really good at guitar, right? I would think that if I saw somebody. And then every time somebody will say, can you play fill in the blank, and always to let them down, like, well, no. And they're like, what? Can you play such and such? Well, no. Can you play such? Unless I got the lyrics and chords, gang, I can't play Harley Jack. So I got to have um, everything kind of right in front of me. I wish I had that ear just come back. Maybe you were so I always say, I always say, I'll send my kids to college uh, just off monetizing my Luke Combs videos. I probably made as much money, honestly, on just like Luke Combs songs as the rest of the songs combined. So thanks, Luke. I owe you a lemonade. Um, Jayla says, "How many guitars do you have? I have four: two acoustic and electric, and a bass. Um, I've got like seven total, but like I think four are mine." This one's my brother's, and then two of my mom's. But I claim them all because they don't all play. None of them play. Um, I want to sing country music one day. Gunner, go for it, man. I was talking about yesterday on Snapchat. I heard someone say, sometimes you have to jump and then grow wings on your way down. Somebody need to hear that. Sometimes in life, you got to jump and somehow grow wings on your way down. You're not going to have the answers. Nobody's going to tell you what direction to go. You just got to dive into it and figure it out as you go. Some of my best memories in life and some of the things that have helped me grow the most, like Tony Robbins always says, if you want to know hap what is happiness, happiness is growth. If you want to be happy, you got to be growing. We're, we're human beings. We're, we're created to be being, to be creating things all the time. So we're, we're made in God's image who is a creator. So we're supposed to be creating. We're supposed to be growing. So if right now you are not happy where you're at, it's probably because you're not growing. Whatever it is you're trying to do, be trying to grow, whether it's music, grow with your fitness, with your nutrition, grow more relationships, study the Bible more, study just books and stuff in general, listen to motivational speakers. I do this stuff every day, all day. I'm always listening to speakers, reading stuff online, reading chapter summaries of books. Try to just always be let your mind be like a garden, and you're just trying to soak up as much as you can, because the more you're growing, the happier you'll be. Don't forget that. Um, can you play BTS songs? Um, um, who's BTS? Is that Blake Shelton? Oh, no. um, four chords, trap chords, what should I work on next? 
Somebody else asked me that, Jason. I would do, um, um, like, try to get fancier with your strumming. So, you know the basic four chords, and maybe you know track chords. Try to just get fancier ways. Just try to do So forth. So just, just work on it. If you know basic chords, and you're trying to say, how can I advance? Um, I would recommend just learning more and more fancy um, strumming patterns. Um, let me see. Jayla said, how, long, how much longer do you plan on streaming? Actually, I was about to say that, about a couple more minutes, because I got to run to um, get a couple things done before I head home. Um, Dave Shepard, oh, that, okay. Dave Shepard, he does some Kenny Chesney songs close enough. Um, let's see. Congratulations, by the way, Alex, on graduating from high school. He said it's huge. Um, let me see. Have common sorrow. Can you play? Can you play a Morgan Wallen song? Let's see. Um. I already forgot it. That's what I'm talking about. Um, let me see here. I got I got to run. Colton, how you doing, man? Life's good. Go, uh, life is real good. Um, so I got to run, guys. Put the link. Uh, shout out video. Um, let me see. Did, uh, Jason said, I never thought the idea of growing is happiness, but you, I think you nailed it. Um, I always tell people, too, nothing I say is original. So don't be like, hey, man, Matt taught me. I'm probably just delivering some message I just heard five minutes ago. So y'all, everybody, they laugh at me in the gym. I've got all these quotes and one-liners and sermons. I'm like, hey, man, it's just because I'm listening to that stuff all the time. It ain't, you can give me credit for like helping you learn it, too, but nothing I do is original, so we got to keep it. That's okay, though, right? Uh, I tell people all the time I want to be a channel of God's blessings, not a reservoir. If God gives me something, just whoop bless others so anyway thank you guys so much for stopping by um let me see uh, thomas red i'll do some thomas red songs soon but i gotta run guys finally did a live video it's been a while like i said if you can leave a little thumbs up before you leave uh, thank you so much everybody that's checked out tune in we'll do it again soon when i find out my office nobody's gonna be in here i'll just let people know on instagram snapchat that kind of thing we'll go live have a good time doing it so thank you guys Keep supporting the channel. I appreciate it. I'll dance at your next wedding. Love you guys. Any new gospel songs, I'll do that on a um, Colton. I'll do that on my um, acoustic selection channel for sure. So check that out. But got to run. Love you guys. Holla. Let's see.